And we get to share that with Valentine's Day as well. Uh, uh, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Um, thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, I mean, what, a, what an introduction. Naomi, Bruno, uh, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. Uh, it, it's, it's surreal. It's a, it's a bizarre experience to think that that's going to be down there forever. Um, blows my mind. I can't really get my head around it. But uh, as, a, as a young actor, and like a lot of young actors, I, um, I was filled with self-doubt. The desire was there. You know, I, I, I wanted to be an actor. I, I wanted to connect with people through acting, but uh, I lacked confidence. But I was incredibly fortunate to meet people who believed in me more than I believed in myself. Great people who offered me encouragement, uh, support, and inspiration. And this, this moment right now is as much for them as it is for me. So I obviously want to thank a few of those people. Uh, Jason Weinberg, it's his birthday today. Happy birthday. Uh, Beth Holland Garland. Uh, David Cove, all the people at Untitled, they work tirelessly. Uh, such support and guidance. Also Peter Levine, Michael Katcher, Steve Blasheva and everyone at CAA. Ina Tresiokas, who's always got my back. Howard Altman, who makes numbers look funny and charming and sexy. Um, and of course, everyone at Warner Brothers. Peter Roth, who uh, is the most hug-happy executive in Hollywood. I would even go so far as to say he's a serial hugger. Um, he ruined two days of the great holiday I was having in Sydney. Whilst I was on the phone talking to him, he was convincing me to do The Mentalist. Uh, thank you for that, Peter. Uh, I don't know if that phone bill will be paid off until the first year of syndication comes in. But uh, thank you. Without, I wouldn't be here without those phone calls. Um, Melinda Hagee, uh, Rachel Filippella, Holly Ollis, all the staff at Warner Brothers, you've always, you've always greeted me with such open arms and been so accommodating. Our relationship has been so strong and, and I really appreciate that. Uh, CBS, Les Moonves, Nina Tassler, Peter Golden, Rosemary Tarkiri. I, I, met, I met Les Moonves 17 years ago when I came here. Les Moonves took a bet on me then and he's stuck with that bet. And uh, I will forever be indebted to him and, and, and Nina at CBS for that. Which, uh, now obviously I'm not gonna be able to mention everyone. There's a lot of people that I, I, you know, I, I've bumped into that have given me great opportunities. But I, I really wanna mention my family at The Mentalist. Uh, Bruno Heller, who, I mean, uh, the guy, He's always encouraged me to follow my instincts. He's always been incredibly supportive. He's treated me like a partner from the beginning. I, I thank you for that. I thank you for, for your honesty, for the enormous amount of faith you had in me and trust you put in me. I don't know why you've spoiled me for anyone else that wants to work with me afterwards, um, but I, I, I'm really grateful. Uh, most of all for our friendship, a friendship that will will go, go way beyond the, the last residual check from this show. Uh, I really value that friendship. I mean it. And, and uh, Chris Long, who can't be here, he's a solid, reliable, uh, the man you want in the trenches with you, hardworking, talented. Uh, he's directing because the show has to go on. Um, uh, I have a wonderful cast that I, sh that I share every day with. Uh, Tim Kang, Owen Yeoman, Amanda Rigetti, and the delightful Robin Tunney. Okay. You make every day a joy to go to work. You do. You make, you make uh, the, the days easier. You make the work better. You make me look a foot taller. I value your friendship so much, Robin. It's been one of the great gifts of this show. Thank you. And then uh, the crew, who 
who really are the unsung heroes always in Hollywood. They work tirelessly. I really admire my crew. I'm a real supporter of the crew. Uh, I, I love spending time with them and I'm, and I'm very, very yes, grateful. Now, I could go on. There's so many people that are here that have had influence on me, like M Mark Johnson, who I worked with on The Guardian, uh, Andy Friedman, who was around in the early days and always been very supportive of me, Charles Shires here. You know, uh, I, I did a movie with Charles in Prague and we've been great friends ever since. Uh, my assistant, Matt, who, you know, I pretty much got pretty quick out of film school and he's just been fantastic. My driver, Tim Stansel, who's just like solid. Um, I want to mention something that's very important to me and it's my friends. You will never realize, sorry, how much inspiration you guys give me. You know, I steal from you every day, all your material. I love it. I thank you. Uh, it's, it's a thing that really buoys me and keeps me going is my friendships. You know, like Naomi, from the beginning, you know, we, we sublet her house around the corner and, and uh, she's, she's seen it all and we've, we've, we've taken that path together. Um, there's one friend I want to mention in particular, John Can, who was my agent, uh, my great friend, my mentor, my best man, sometimes my partner in crime, but he was, he was very, very, very instrumental in me and my wife and my daughter actually coming here in the first place. He was adamant that we broaden our horizons and, and without his encouragement and his support, uh, I, I wouldn't be standing here today and I definitely wouldn't be the man I am. So thank you, Johnny. Um, yeah, what am I going to do now? I don't know. I'm winging it from here. Uh, but to wrap it up, look, to me, the big thing is, and I, and I, this is a great trip. It's fantastic. I could never have imagined, you know, the Hollywood Walk of Fame, to me, was always about inspiration. And I remember walking down here and seeing all these names, and, and I never imagined that my name would be one of those names. I just, it, it didn't even enter my mind. And this is all fantastic, but without being able to share it with my family, my wife, my daughter, the only other place I have my name written in the ground is at Bondi Beach. When my daughter was one year old. I know it's illegal, but I wrote Stella and Simon, 93. She was not even a year old. That's the only other place I have my name written in the ground. My, daughter went, my wife once gave me a card that said, opportunity having knocked moves on. And the most important opportunity that I took advantage of in my life was marrying her. Thank you. My kids, my cup runneth over. This is for you guys, you know? You guys inspire me. Thank you very much. All right, it's time to unveil the star.